Pisces, welcome. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing your reading. It is the uh, 8th of October. We are in Libra season. This is a reading for Pisces, however. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, it will be a love reading. So uh, if this resonates for you, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate your support. So uh, let's dive into your reading Pisces. I'm using the Babylonian Tarot deck. Um, the person that uh, is showing up in the reading, you uh, decide <laughs> if, if it resonates uh, with you. Basically, um, there is no agenda, whether it's a past person or a new person. We shall find out. All right, it wants me to continue shuffling, so bear with me. <laughs> that you have a surprise um, coming in when it comes to your abundance, uh, Pisces. This could be after a period of feeling left out in the cold, no opportunities. Uh, you might be assertive here to create opportunities for yourself as well. I feel that um, this uh, activity that you've been doing to improve uh, your finances, improve your abundance is going to pay off. Um, a person that is showing up in your reading, I feel this is someone, they, they know that you are their soulmate. They know that you are someone that is, like I see this person, they see you as someone that either is in a limelight, you have talents, you are unique, you cannot be replaced. Uh, you and this person are very different. They want to come together and they want to celebrate with you. This person have romantic feelings, but they have not expressed their feelings. They might be holding up um, or like trying to guard this the feelings they have, uh, waiting for the right time here. Um, now, Pisces, I definitely feel here that it's... Um, Things will almost change overnight for you. Um, there is a big change in your environment. Um, I feel that you might be looking for an opportunity, career, um, just maybe a new, a new place to live. I feel that there is a, a new era, definitely a new era. You might be finding a, a mentor, a teacher, um, a specific spiritual belief. You are learning something that you are um, very passionate about. Someone here is going to show up as well. This person is, uh, I feel they have something to say to you when it comes to love. There is also an energy here that you want to keep out in the cold. For many of you, you are also clearing out, like really putting your foot down when it comes to just energies, people um, just that are showing up randomly and that isn't wanted, <laughs> unwanted attention. So I think that's something that you are clearing out of your life at this time. So we have someone here with the justice and the three of cups. This person might be going through divorce or legal matter. We have the three of swords. So it's possible that there has been an ending when it comes to third party. This ending might have happened a long time ago or so. This is something they are going through. And now they also want a new beginning here. This person could certainly have Libra in their chart. You haven't spoken to this person for a while. They are here about to take their guard down. Uh, yeah, I feel this person have been someone that have been sort of like they don't live in the moment. They don't live in the kind of they don't uh, want, want to be vulnerable. They are constantly maybe thinking about what has to be right in their life, what's right, what's wrong kind of thing, cause consequence. So they forget to live in the moment. I feel that this person had experienced a loss. Yeah, I feel this person had experienced a loss here. Now, it is possible as well that a person that was reckless, that a person that was very selfish, a knight of wands that you know who this is, they don't really affect you anymore. But this person, they know that they did something very foolish by leaving you out in the cold. They really do know that. But this person here now is is out of your life. I do see this person is going through a tough time when it comes to their finances. They were not aware of the golden opportunity that uh, they had with you. It seems like this person is trying to lure you back in, in a way. This person could be someone that is 
experimenting with magic, trying to find a binding love spell or whatever it is. This person believed that they have a, a certain power, let's say. This person know that uh, you are now in a distance and they're, they have this kind of claim for fame type of attitude but without doing anything. I feel there is a relationship that have ended and they lost a lot. This person is someone that isn't really in your life at the minute. This person is out of your life, but they are looking for this, you know, attention. So be aware of someone that wants to resurface in your life or in your energy. It is advised here to do your utmost not to invite them into your energy. Sometimes when you have cleared your energy, even though it feels like, well, I have definitely got my spiritual lessons. I, I see here you have this <laughs> blueprint almost Pisces for this. Uh, it's really like it's a nice, uh, I could say uplifting energy that you have around you. It is that, okay, the, the, the aftermath of the death can also feel, it's like, oh, it's like you wake up after a really deep night's sleep and behind you, you've had like, Going, gone through all kinds of emotions. You might wake up like suddenly feeling like you're healing, your body feels better. So that's the type of phase that you are going through at the moment. And then you are picking up with these energies and such as this person that will suddenly, you, even if you see them on a distance, you are not allowing this person into your energy. I feel I feel what you have well and truly let go of someone, Pisces, but it's saying here as well to be open keep your eyes open for this energy because they have a tendency to be intrusive you have also someone here maybe is in a work situation as well and that is go is someone that is is quite immature here i feel i feel how things are going to things are going to lighten up for you a lot the sun is without a doubt the happiest card in the deck. So you have necessary positive changes coming for you, Pisces. And I feel that your life is going to be filled with kind gestures. I feel that you have a soulmate here that is going to, you know, um, embrace a new beginning with you. I feel that you are healing uh, a broken heart as well. With a high priestess and with the ace of wands, I feel that you are following a spiritual path here. You are coming out of a battle and there is someone here that have hurt you in the past. They will suddenly show up. This person could have Leo, Scorpio, uh, Aries in their chart, maybe Libra as well. Now there is a person here that's coming in with romantic gestures. Uh, just, I can't speak of gestures. <laughs> My goodness, yeah. You also have improvement in your finances. I feel that you are leaving behind, maybe you're leaving behind poor management. You are leaving behind someone that was abusing their strength, someone that was uh, sabotaging you. And actually, anyone that have sabotaged you, you are moving away from that sort of scene. I feel here, Pisces, you are... Um, yeah, see, you are pulling the knives out of your back because you have decided, it's basically you're dealing with a bad situation when it happens and you remove the situation from you. You are spiritually protected here as well. Someone that used to have access to you, they will no longer have access to you, Pisces. Um, someone that wanted to hurt you this doesn't have to be a love interest but there could have been energies around you that didn't understand you uh, didn't it's like they didn't see your spiritual side or you are around energies that aren't spiritual and you are completely different breathe in a way i feel that many of you have had to really move away from environments where you just know you will never get along with the people in that environment and the longer you stay there, the more you will suppress, you know, who you are as a person, you know, your spiritual beliefs here. So I think that many of you are saying, no, I will not, I will not let that happen to me. I will cut this off. Whatever I have to do, I will cut it out. I will cut it off here. So, um, yeah, so you are definitely Pisces um, saying, I don't need this. I don't need this 
you know, I, I can easily go elsewhere. And, and I see that you are really standing up for yourself here, Pisces, and, and those that are trying to sabotage you, you are saying no to that sabotage immediately. So with the Knight of uh, Swords here, there is quick action that you might be taking at this time as well when it comes to grabbing new opportunities here with a page of wands. I feel that that is how you will receive your wish fulfillment. I feel that um, there will be justice that's going to be served for you, Pisces. I feel that you are, I mean, there might be a time where you, you feel like you wasted a lot of time, like a lot of time here. I feel that for many of you, you might sort of, you know, be there's people around you that try to persuade you to stay or come back here or, you know, you're left in the dark in a way. It's saying here, do you, you it, it's time to go for what you desire because no one is going to be on the same path as you. Yeah, it's like no, no one will really understand the path that you are on here, Pisces. And um, in order to shine, uh, in order to get a new beginning, in order to thrive, you need to, to follow your own lead. Because there are people around you that want you to belittle you, that they want you to stay stuck, they want you to get confused. So make sure that at this time, Pisces, it's you that are fooling those around you, leading them away from you. Uh, it, it is a little bit of that energy of, you know, you kind of have to play that game of ball in a, in a sense of, of, of uh, shushing people <laughs> away from you because um, you know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what you're worth here. You know exactly what makes you happy and it's right at your fingertips. So, when you have those around you that are scared, insecure, but still have access to you. Again, it says just close your eyes. You don't need to tell your dreams to those around you. You don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to share that. So I think for, for a while you will be almost like swimming through energies that are murky, that, you know, you might be sort of, you know, one day you feel, oh, wow, I'm so passionate and I feel great. And the next minute you might have to deal with people. I see people is the obstacle in your life. People people's belief system that don't match your belief system is an obstacle in your life and especially a lover here a lover here that is attached to you obsessed with you and uh, feeling that they're entitled to you again energies like that you are cutting out but because you have this the sun which is the happiest card in the deck uh you know you are in a very strong position here. I feel that yeah, with the Ace of Wands, we have underneath the deck, the Ace of Cups here. You really are taking charge of your own destiny here. You're looking good whilst you take charge of your destiny. You're resting up as well, holding on to what you have here. I feel, yeah, there are there are certain situations and people around you that don't have your best interest at heart. And it's it's known to you. It's almost like you, you know what is happening. You know who's who, basically. You know who is wearing a mask and trying to lead you astray. So it's saying here almost if you see people trying to leave lead you astray play the same game back it doesn't these are not people that you can negotiate with here it, it, the most important here is that you know what you're passionate about you know where you're going here and you know what is making you happy pisces so many of you are getting some much needed rest after hard work, you could be burnt out um, as well. Mental burnt out, burnout is very common. So uh, I see that you are, it's like, it's, it's from people, it's from energies around you more so even than the workload here. Um, yeah, see, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel here, yeah, you've had people like you, it seems that Pisces, you have, you should have left a certain environment a long time ago, but because you stayed, it's almost like you've had it, you know, you, you have, a, you, your world is so different and yet you have stayed in an environment that is just 
it's impossible to fit in and you might, you know, it's like a co, maybe it's codependency perhaps as well. It feels like there is a, an old program here that you have to release uh, Pisces, people that are no longer, uh, it's no longer serving you. You know that is not the right environment. I feel as soon as you do that here and stick to that path, you will see the signs and synchronicities that is here here to guide you further and you are pulling these knives out of your back here you have gained a spiritual lesson you know that you don't really want to stay put and argue it's like you could win an, an argument right and you could get protection in an environment and, and you could have happiness for so long but it's almost like the next battle will be around the corner do you want to be there to have the battle and i don't see that you want to do that all right so you could be dealing with someone that there is someone here that's coming towards you. They feel they are your soulmate. For many of you, you have unfinished business with this person, Pisces, and you want to, I feel that you, this person, when they come in, it's, well, they come in with good intentions. They come in wanting to, to express love, but it's, it looks like that it's, to me, this person can't really offer they can't really offer you what you want and, and what, again, is part of your new journey here at all. So the advice here is that you will get what you want, but you will have to make some sacrifices to get there. You need to, you need to level up in terms of, I mean, you need to stay on that level. Yeah. Uh, with, you know, follow tradition, but, you know, not at the cost, not at the cost of, of your own you know, your own dreams, basically. So there is a person who have your spiritual connection with. There could be two people as well. We have an air sign, we have a fire sign here. And I feel here that this person is, a, yeah, 10 of swords again. They are coming towards you because you are leveling up here. This is someone coming in from your past. We have someone here, queen of wands here. I feel there is a person around you that want to, they're holding on to someone here. A person that is showing up here in your reading this person is very jealous of you they know someone is coming towards you and uh, you are not afraid to be different you're not afraid for standing up what you want for what you want here pisces with the queen of wands i feel that many of you could have fire in your chart but you are saying no enough of this i'm moving forward i'm not staying here anymore this is not where I belong. So I feel here at Pisces, you really are proving your worth to yourself, most importantly, you know. I just feel like there is, you are in a complete wrong environment here, uh, Pisces. And you just know that you have everything to be happy. You have the skills, you have the drive, but then somehow there are still some some energies around you trying to, to bug you, <laughs> I'm seeing here, but not for very long, however, anything else here, so I'm going to look into, so what is the situation here for Pisces, the person that they are dealing with, please, yeah, so you could be dealing with someone that is, they have Libra in their chart, I feel that, um, you know, they have, things have backfired for this person, they have, I feel this person now is losing you and because they are losing you they are also losing their shit and and they are coming in with this mask to try to 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 rope you in here see the the ten of pentacles in reverse many of you are saying no you don't want another relationship with this person here they are not the one for you all right and they are going to you know get the judgment here it's like you don't want the commitment you don't see this person as your spouse or your partner and, and this is something that you have firmly decided here. This person here, see, they have troubles with their finances. They they left you out in the cold. And now, you know, this person, there is a person here that is raging on a distance. You can almost feel, <laughs> you feel someone on a distance. Like, it's almost like you see some smoke or a volcano, right? Far, far, far away. And that's this person raging. They This person here is absolutely so angry I mean, they can't be angry with you because they have put you in the cold, but now they want to come back and they are raging because you are not taking them back. Not at all. And there is someone that was in their, the, the way here, someone that interrupted this connection. They followed someone that is manipulative, someone that, again, and, and, and a codependent situation, they didn't have the courage to stand up to this person.
but you did you did have uh, courage and I see that you have courage to change your life you have an exciting future ahead of you uh, Pisces and I see that you are not putting up with the toxic work environment you are prepared to to like take the burdens to up you know, climb the ladder basically here as well. You are saying, no, I don't want to stay. I don't, maybe this, this environment can, can offer me abundance, but there is someone here that is, is burdening you. Like I see here that justice is here for you. Many of you are getting into a new career here as well. You are proving that you can, yeah, there is a lot of manipulation here. You could be dealing with narcissistic environments, someone that is, uh, they're going to get piece of their own medicine here, Pisces. I feel that you are taking your power back um, in every shape or form, but you're doing it subtly. It's sub subtly, sorry, I can't speak. Um, it's, it's subtle, you're subtle, like you're subtle about, <laughs> sorry, winning. You aren't, you aren't here to, let's say, I'll oh, cause a lot of drama and then have this w major win. But I see here that you have protection from spirits. Remember your skills, remember what you're good at, remember why you started, all right? You don't have to stay in a certain situation and battle because you have a much greater, a much greater opportunity elsewhere. Someone around you will never really help you here. It will just be someone you, you can master it, but you, you, you just decided that, no, my happiness, I can see it, I can feel it. Uh, I know what it is. And there is also a situation here where someone is, it's like a very, like it's like a manipulative, like it's like a team effort to, to manipulate someone. So you could be the victim, but you are no longer the victim. You are the one that's taking the lead here. I feel here someone's trying to sabotage your, your abundance, someone trying to have, take what you have, but you are like, well, you can't really take what I have because I have my own skills here. It doesn't matter what, it, you are sort of, leaving uh, the reason for other people's toxic mentality away it doesn't matter to you it's almost like you're saying look um, you know everywhere you go there will be toxic people mentalities and so on and as long as I'm just moving away from it all <laughs> that's all that matters I'm moving into my wish fulfillment I'm moving into this new chapter here and that's what I'm going to celebrate this is my my new chapter there's more money uh wealth sorry coming towards you with the, with the world here as well I see that you are leaving you are leaving these kind of any past connections any anyone that is codependent anyone that didn't really give you your happiness you are not returning to to this situation here I really see Pisces that you're certainly taking back your power uh, in October in the season of Libra especially so congratulations, uh, Pisces. Anything else for the most likely outcome for Pisces? Yeah, you're walking away. Walking away from a place where there were obstacles uh, in terms of you just couldn't you just couldn't thrive uh, in this environment. I feel uh, there could be someone helping you, the emperor. Uh, I feel here as well. You are definitely leaving uh, leaving behind here like very toxic environments of people, energies that somehow been lurking around you, burdening you, Pisces. You are stepping into a new world, cutting out the old world here. You're seeing clearly what it is that you have to do. The lovers. So as you do that, there is someone here that is meant for you, someone wealthy, healthy, <laughs> drama-free here, all right? There is a message from this person, someone that loves you deeply, someone that can bring you wish fulfillment here. I feel here, you are leaving behind war zones. I feel like you're leaving behind tower moments. I feel you're leaving behind a lot of like a toxic bureaucracy and like there is just an impossible environment to thrive. That's what you're leaving behind here. You are rising above the, this um, and basically shifting into another environment because I do feel all these underlying energies here around you. That's like it's almost like you are, you know, 10 times as successful as someone, but 
still you want to stay in an environment, let's say, and, and then people can't stand it because they know as long as you are there, you will be the one that gets the attention. You will be the one that stands out. You'll be the one that, you know, people will, is attention to, to basically because you are cut out from a different cloth completely and you are just it, it's it's that for many of you you're looking around and you're seeing what are you doing where you are where you are it's like I should never have stayed here <laughs> so so um you 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 have tamed you know you're, you're taming yourself you're taming I feel like you are you just know where you will be thriving here, Pisces, and uh, you are the universe is is going to send you what you are you are looking for. You are really are cleansing, cleansing these kind of turbulent energies and just sticking to your goals, sticking to your worth, sticking to your boundaries here. And as you do that, that is when the universe is kind of inserting new elements, ingredients into your life and you're like, okay, this is more like it. So Pisces, these were the messages I had for you. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I will see you very soon. Take care.